I'm not gonna miss that Rotom Dex. Ultra Ball, I miss my Rotom Dex. Hey guys, my name is Nick, and today we're checking out the ho -O GX deck from the ho -O GX tin. And I'm excited because I could really use some good cards for a Fire-type deck. So let's redeem this code and see what we get. Here we go. Uh, once again it does the thing where it opens up automatically. It didn't do that last time for some reason. But yeah, we get the deck, which we'll take a closer look at in a second, and a nice deck box to go along with it. So here we are, Wings of Fire, the deck is called, and it is, it is actually a fire and water type deck. That is interesting. So yeah, we get 11 fire energy and only 4 water energies. Interesting. For the trainers, we don't seem to be getting anything too spectacular. We, we get Big Malasada, Energy Switch, Escape Rope, uh, Field Blower, Great Balls, Nest Ball, a Pokemon Catcher. Oh, we got a lot more. Rescue Stretcher, a Rotom Dex. That has to be one of the most useless cards you can get, right? Why is that here? Timer Ball, Ultra Ball, we get all the Pokeballs. Except for the regular one, I guess. Altar of the Sun. Oh, and it just keeps going. Because look at that, 26 trainers in this deck, wow. We have How, Iluma. Kiawe, I was kind of expecting you to be honest for the to use with Ho -Oh GX. Lily, Professor Kukui, and also a wishful baton. Also a useful one for Ho -Oh GX, I guess. But yet yeah, 26 trainers, that is a lot. At least as far as these uh tin decks go. Like, I get in an actual deck, you probably want to go for a lot of trainers. But usually you don't get that many in a pre-made deck like this. And then, of course, we have the Pokemon. We have Genghis Khan and Spinda. Those are some normal types. We have Heatmore. There's, of course, the two ho -Oh jacks Or a Corio to help us search for, for some other fire types, I guess. We have a Panseer to Simiseer. With a nice attack to uh, get a fire energy back from the discard pile to a bench Pokemon. So obviously we kind of want to have a ho GX on the bench when we use this. And we also get a Turtonator. And lastly, we actually get a Lonely Sentry. Immediately the best deck we could ever get. Along with some Alolan Sand Slash. So really the water types. I don't even think we really need the water energies in this deck. It's just to uh, get Sand Slash on the bench for that Slush Rush. So yeah, definitely some good cards here. I suspect we might do pretty well with this. So let's find us a match and check it out. Not the best of starts. But if we can get a fire energy we can work with it. Or not. Oh, here we go. Oricorio could work. I think Kangaskhan also is a pretty good one to start with. We'll start with Oricorio, get some fire types, and then we can send in Kangaskhan right after. Yes, please. I need some more energies. Now let's put you on the bench as well. Why do I have this? What what use does that have? I guess we can use the Ultra Ball with the Rotom Dex. Because really, what, why would you want to change out your prize cards unless you know there's something specific in there that you need? Steam, what are you doing? Let me back in the game, please. Any day now. Right, so who are we going to power up? I think we're gonna use this once and then send in Genghis down. And we'll use the water energy for it. So definitely you. And another GX won't hurt. I don't know what else we would want to get. No, I think we're going to leave it like this. Maybe get another Vance here. We 
don't really need the second one. But. Maybe I should have left that spot open to get the sand slash or something. Well, if we're gonna wait around anyway. Oh, maybe I should have done this. Well, that doesn't work until I have something in my Discord anyway, so... doing oh. sorry steam is being annoying in the background dude what are you doing do you not have any energy and are you now just giving up or something why why would you wait that long okay this is good we get we're getting the energies Charizard is going to hurt. But unless he can increase the damage, he'll have to attack twice. So that's long enough. And then we can take him out in one shot with Phoenix Burn. I think we got this. There we go. He's not gonna like this. Did we get any switches? I don't think we did. That would work so well with this deck, because ho -Oh can't attack now, next turn. Yeah, can use free Phoenix Burn during your next turn. But if you get switches or any something to switch, you can just switch out the two ho -Ohs. I feel like if you have 30 trainers in a deck, that that is a trainer you would want to include. Oh, nice. Well, that works. So then we don't need to worry about powering up that ho -Oh. Because if ho -Oh dies now, we just move all the energies to this guy and he can attack again. Oh, you don't have anything on your bench? Oh, that's it. If even use that. No, that's a terrible start. We can get the ho -Oh, though, we can use Kiawe and just get it going in one turn. Yeah, Kiawe and ho -Oh are such a good combination. Because that is the exact energy count you need for ho -Oh. ho -Oh, please. Just do it. You can do it. Please. No! No! Why? 
Oh, that would have been so good. We can still get it, though. He's gonna do a lot of damage pretty quickly. Yeah, let's do this. We can use Oricorio to get Holo on the bench anyway, and then just use Kiawe. Ah, I see a problem in my plan there. If he doesn't kill me, I can do much. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Hello, Nsenshu. So we want to use you. Definitely want to get you guys. What else do we want? You, I guess. Spence here? No, we should sacrifice Turdinator. It's fine. Ooh, we can get a lot of cards this turn. One. Oh no, we can't use Kiawe if I do that. to use how but I'm not gonna miss that Rotom Dex. Ultra Ball! I miss my Rotom Dex! Oh there it is! I don't really need my Ultra Ball, really. Now getting that Wishful Baton, that would be good. Uh, sure. If he's gonna keep playing N, we will get that Baton eventually. Oh, there it is. Thank you. This is perfect. There we go. Let's uh, throw you in for good measure. Why do we need all those Pokeballs? We really don't have a use for them. Let's see if we can get some more energy. Although I don't need, don't know what we would need it for at this point. Yeah, we can build a Bukangus come, sure. I think we got this. It's such a, a good combination. This is a really good deck. Ouch. Oh, if he doesn't have anything on the plane. Last match. Oh, we are having a type of disadvantage here. That is not a good sign. But even if we lose this, uh, I am kind of impressed with this deck. It did even better than I thought it would. 
considering it's only a, a deck with two GX cards in it, and just to showcase the ho ho, really. Uh, you, obviously. And yeah, I, d I said I didn't care too much about ho ho GX, but it's doing really well. Now, this could get dangerous. search for something but that stadium is gonna be useful actually <laughs> let's see obviously you that Try using the Pokemon Catcher to stall a bit. Do they get to decide? No, I get. Oh, nice! We can get save that energy. I kind of need to because I'm short on energy right now. This isn't gonna help much, is it? Uh, yeah, we should give it to her. Feel like we just need to stall until we get a ho-ho up and running. That's kind of... No, don't do that, please. Don't, no. Okay. Well, if we can get a Kiawe, then we can still get this thing going. No. Doesn't help. One more energy. No. Well, it's over. We can't really beat that. Oh, I don't know how we would beat that nine tails. Maybe with uh, Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan might. Yeah, that could. you anymore. There we go. Problem will be switching out Ho oh, oh, that's gonna lose us two energies. And we really need to get another one. We get a road on deck, sure. That's <laughs> let's 
that's one problem solved. But now that Ninetales is gonna get into play. That is useful. Now we just need an energy. If we can get an energy, we can do this. Please give us that energy, please. Energy, yes! That is all we need. Oh no, no, they get the switch as well. No, oh, what did I do? Why did I do that? Oh, oh this is so bad. I had it all figured out except for the fact that he got the switch as well. Oh, that was stupid. Got nothing. We're done. Can't win them all, I guess. So that was it for the Wings of Fire Ho -Oh GX Tin deck. It was pretty good like uh, a lot of good cards in this and some good combinations as well like i said at the start that i wasn't really interested in ho, -Ho gx but having played with it now i i kind of see the appeal there is a lot of room for improvement though i think i would throw out some pokemon and just uh, go full ho, ho gx with this or something except for oricorio that one worked really well with this deck yeah, along with the trainers, I would definitely throw some of them out. Two more Kiawe, definitely, and just four Wishful Bokhtan as well. I think that was the winning strategy, and I think uh, that by focusing on that, you can make this deck even better. But yes, definitely some fun stuff to work with, uh, that, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And I enjoyed it, and hopefully you enjoyed it as well. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again in another video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did you can click up here to watch some more or you can click down here and watch me open the actual tin that gave me the deck I used in this video. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.